Um, interesting stuff is happening at Fox, and I say interesting because nobody knows what's happening, but we know they're not letting Fantastic Four go unless it's out of their cold, dead hands. So, uh, what we've heard recently, and this was at San Diego Comic-Con, is that they're working on something Doctor Doom related. Now, a couple of, I would say months ago, Mads Mikkelsen, who of course played Kaecilius in uh, Doctor Strange and he was Hannibal... Originally auditioned for Doctor Strange, or not Doctor Strange, um, Doctor Doom in the Josh Trank Fantastic Four. And he said he felt so embarrassed that he literally just walked out on them. And now he's expressing interest in playing the character again because it's a centric villain piece from what he's heard. So he's kind of adding to that fuel, you know. Now I'm kind of interested to see what they could pull up because he's honestly a great actor and I think he could do it. But the the problem I have here is... If you're going to franchise this, I think he might be a little too old. So, and yeah, yeah. Look, I don't think if I thought Toby Campbell could have been a good Doctor Doom. Oh, I yeah. just didn't think the Doctor Doom they created in Fantastic Four was Doctor Doom, but it is what it is and I, you know, he's young enough that I may I don't know if he could get him back. You might have to recast right because they're probably not going to try to uh get that. So, I I agree with you. He's a he would be a great choice, Matt Mickelson, but he is really old, and it's one of those things where you want this for like a long time. Like, look, you got uh you got all these younger actors in the X Men movie. Ryan Reynolds, I don't think he's that old. If he is, he doesn't look it. But he, there, you do it younger so you can have it for a long time. Like it's something we've known for a long for a while now. Like with all these movies, so I. I wouldn't hate it if it happened. I just kind of don't want it because I I feel like the the dude Noah Hawley who's gonna make this movie, he can re- do a good movie, and I want him to be able to franchise it. To be fair, so mm-hmm. you know he's the character wears a mask. So let's face it, it, it's not like he's gonna be jumping around trying to do stunts himself anyway. So I mean, it's like Robert Downey Jr. He can be an Iron Man for another ten years because he's not the one doing the backflips and but all the stunts I, and all of that. You're gonna need it for more than ten years, I would say. I, yeah, it's you one stick of the mask on a stunt man, and he does the voiceover. And it's it's one of the, it's one of these things, though. Real quick, it, it's one of these things uh, that when directors start up franchises, they want to start fresh. Ma- Matthew Vaughn, excellent rep. He yep. got you know a younger cast than what we had. Uh, Matt Reeves probably wants a younger cast, but he got Ben Affleck. Uh, so <laughs> I assume Noah Hawley wants a younger cast. These directors who are especially really good, Matthew Vaughn. No, Holly and Matt Reeves, I assume they want something to make their stamp on. And to do that, you need a younger cast. It doesn't have to be like 18 year olds, but it can't be late 40s, early 50s type stuff. Well, that's the thing. You don't don't see Doom's face. Yeah, that's the thing. Here, here's the Isn't thing. It it's about like, the kid, though. And it's like, well, so it's clearly set. If long you're after not going to see Doom's face, right? I'm okay with that if it's just a Doctor Doom movie, but if you're going to touch upon his origin and his time meeting Reed Richards, which is the way I've been saying they should do the Fantastic Four anyway, is just make them small cameos first to build them up. I mean, you got to kind of see that Doctor Doom jealousy rivalry to Reed, right? Like, that's that's a huge part of those two characters. So, how do you... He's still young enough to do that now. It's like that later on, you just don't let him take off. I just, I don't... I don't Mads? see him. Yeah, I don't see Mads being able to pull off a high schooler. That's a thing. I, like, no, I don't like because no. I, I don't want to do what the the, face the trades did, where like they, I felt super bad at the. I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't really remember who it was. But one of the trades said that like, oh, Ben Affleck pushing on fifty, his body isn't there. I was like, oh, come on, man, that's kind of messed up. But uh, I, it's not even how his body or his act. I just. It's being able to have him for a long time in general. Like you, mm-hmm. you said, Doctor Doom necessarily isn't going to be doing all this stunt work. So if he is, you can. It's going to be in, under mass, so you can have a stunt actor. But you just want the actor to be here for a long time and to show the the younger stuff. Because like I mean, you said like where from where he came from, the possibly what his mom origin, uh, him first meeting Reed, and I I don't think him first meeting Reed at. 50 is going to be right. It doesn't feel right. You know, they felt they have to know each other at a young age, 20. And that's the thing. Inherently, if you're going to have an old Dr. Doom and maybe he, you tell that story as an older Dr. Doom, then you're missing the whole thing with him losing his mom, going insane, trying to rescue her. And 
if you're going to do an older Reed Richards then, then you're once again backing that franchise up then into another weird corner. It's like, Isn't honestly... Isn't what they're doing by focusing on their son, though? Yeah. Oh, Isn't yeah. that what the Fantastic Four movie is? Like, it's technically, it's got to be I, an older Reed Richards. I would say, Richards. though, with that one, though, at least we've heard, like, actually somebody come out and say Doom, like a Doctor Doom movie, or whether just Doom. You know, we haven't really heard someone say... You know, Fantastic Four babies. We just, it's just new, like articles that some people could get the inside scoop. But then again, when these art, you know, these places get the scoops, it's more about like maybe they're just thinking about it. That's that doesn't mean necessarily they're gonna make it. At least when Noah Hawley came out and said Doctor Doom or Doom, that's you know him talking about he's gonna write and direct it. That's him like that's it feels real. It's so definitely. maybe. I mean, it's more real than when a trade goes, this is what we've heard. I mean, he legit just comes yeah. out and goes, here's what I'm working on. It's Dr. Doom. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. Okay. Well, um, so this dude definitely that, knows, you know? <laughs> that's why with the Fantastic Four Babies, yeah, you're right. Like, with the Fantastic Four Babies thing, like, if they're focusing on the kids, like, that could n- end up, not end up happening. if they, Especially if they cast, like, Young Doom, then that means they might go young with the Fantastic Four as well, get different actors. I never thought Miles Teller was uh, that great of a choice for Reed, to be fair. Uh, no, I, I just don't like him. Like he's alright in Whiplash, but I just as an actor, I've never found. You know, him. I was okay with him for the portrayal they were going for, because I felt it was going to be more Ultimates anyway. I'm like, I could see how yeah, they skew could, this. But then when he literally just in, is in that interview and he goes, "I'm playing the most boring character of all time," he just like tosses the Fantastic Four under a bus. That was my official fuck you. I hate you forever. Like, n- <laughs> I, uh, uh, nope, nothing anymore. Like, I'm, nope. I'm, I'm the biggest boy. fan of Michael B. Jordan, and oh, I just yeah. think him oh, being goodness. in that movie was the only reason I saw it. And uh, it, it's I feel bad, but then now he's in Black Panther, so that's cool. But like, he was the only one, and maybe K. Mara. Like, I felt like she was a good enough actress. I felt like I felt like in the terms of who was meant to be like. In that movie, you know, Michael B. Jordan, K. Mara, Jamie Bell, and then Miles Teller. I feel like he, he could have gone differently with Reed. But mm-hmm. I, I, I felt the same way where, you know, if they went for the Ultimates vibe, okay. But remember when they said that they were going to have the costumes at the very end? Like, how... Like, you straight up lied about oh, that, they bro. Said a, they said a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a total lie. And they oh, also said the Fantastic car was in there, but then you can tell they cut the budget, and that's why they threw it. No, the, the, the car was yeah, filmed. Yeah, it was like, they, they just they, cut, they, it, cut it out. There's a, a deleted scene with the car, isn't it? Oh, you watched the like, deleted scene? That was scenes? part of the... Uh... Well, I didn't watch it. I, I read about it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> holy fuck. I saw a picture. I definitely yeah. think I saw it. There, there was that picture as well. Yeah, you you can tell in the movie where the car was supposed to be though, because there's just a really awkward shot where Johnny Storm comes flying in. He says they're just coming, and it's like a really bad CG of Sue Storm holding the other two in a full spill, just floating down. Yeah, it's so <laughs> clearly that they're, they're in the garage. There's a huge open space for the Fantastic Car to park, and it's just that's hilarious. Oh, it, I, oh, I, it's so funny. I have I have I to some movie. faith, like you know Noah Hawley, and if if they go immense, like bringing it back around. I'm fine with that. He, we, you know, Armin said it. He's a, a great actor. I'm down with it. I just would love to see a younger actor because I want Noah Hawley to be able to make like a trilogy out of this and possibly but, bleed but off to a Fantastic Four. Get around that quickly. Why don't they just see he, see G's face so he's younger? Uh, I mean, they could do that. And... So here's the thing. From what I understand, you know how they de-aged Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. That one shot in Civil War alone cost close to sixteen million dollars. For just that brief yeah, but appearance. The thing is that, that that was then. The more you use this technology, the cheaper it will get. Is anybody oh, else using it, though? I um, feel like not, really. Well, Disney are using I... it in Star Wars as well. Because like, that's yeah. them. Yeah. Like, that's in-house, I would feel like. You know? yeah. That's it's Disney, it's Star Wars, Wars, Marvel. That's in-house. But right? still, even if they use it, it's still going to get cheaper for everyone else to use it. Though. That's just I mean, how it I, works. I mean, my um, ideal, like, Doctor Doom movie is make it Mads as, like... A age Doctor Doom who's literally fighting for his country like modern day and then maybe what? maybe do a flashback maybe he's telling you the story of how he got to this moment where the world despises him or something you know like tell the story of like who is Doctor Doom because Doctor Doom as a character is one of the deepest like coolest Marvel yeah, quote like, unquote villains favorite. so like it's 
they don't need to pitch this as a villain. Sure, pitch it as a villain movie, but make sure people walk away knowing, holy shit, this character is so rich with history and co- like complexion. Like it's all idea. Idea, idea, idea. So similar to not, I'm not gonna say like. I mean, you could do the whole Mads Mikkelsen and then Ben, like Ben Affleck thing, where you just flash back and it's like the whole movie is just like a story from back in the day. But I would say, why not just do a straight up origin story, right? Do the whole his mom, the devil, he learns magic, and at the very end, you just you introduce Reed. Like that's as simple as it could get. Yeah, really. Yeah. Like that's as simple that's as it could get. Comic, the uh, very centric. Uh, people would, you know, because. We've had movies where Reed and uh, Victor were in both of them at the same time. Why not have one where it's just one of them, and then you tease the other at the end, and that could lead to an F four movie at the same time a doom a doom sequel happens or something. I mean, you know? how about how about this? This will make them money. We don't make the movie and we sell it back. <laughs> I mean, I I, I get just infinitely like no more Holly, money. Man. Than- if yeah. you get infinitely more money than anything these movies are going to make under Fox. It's true. Yeah, but I just really like Noah Hawley as a like. I, I like creator. Noah as well, and I think I, his Doom movie will probably be good. Yeah. But Doom is going to be a hard sell for the general audience. I mean, maybe it's not going to make money. I no. mean, probably. I I just I don't know. I whether it does or not, I just have faith that it'll be a good movie because of him but uh you know it's not my problem if it's gonna sell or not i just want it to be a good movie i think so dr doom is already so damaged from these other movies that it's like what you said maybe they make the dr doom prequel and it's like we see maybe 20 30 minutes of him with reed richards maybe they're hanging out and then they go their separate ways and we follow dr doom's story and if people gravitate towards reed richards enough they go oh you guys like that guy now we'll give you your fantastic four and then in two movies, they'll meet each other as the villain, you know, the villain Doctor Doom versus Fantastic Four, but you kind of know the story now, so whose side are you going to root for? That's a cool aspect. The entire problem is, this is Fox doing it, and they mm-hmm. don't care. Like, they literally, I don't think they care. I, I just it, hope... He's not going to look like Doom, because they've tried that the comic look before, and they're not going to well, want to associate Doom with those. M- so... Maybe he will. Who knows? I just, he, I, he's not, he's not going to have the green and the armor. I, oh, I sure. mean, I, I don't know. With no Holly, I feel like anything's possible. You, you know I just what? really I, think he's that great of a creator. I'm honestly feeling a direction where they take Doctor Doom, and they probably are looking at what he's doing in the comics now. They're going, think Doctor Doom could work in an Iron Man-inspired suit? Because Probably that's what sells. Not, not infamous. Yeah. Well, um, one like one thing though, like if you do the whole where we bring in Reed and like, oh, you like him? Here's a movie about him and whatnot. Uh, I don't like. I felt like bring also saying in, oh well, you know, if he he's had previous previous incarnations. I don't know if people will actually want to go watch it. I know it isn't a good example or comparison. Spider Man has had a lot of good. I mean, a lot of. It's had, it's had more good than Fantastic Four, but it's had a lot of but reboots and stuff like that too. Reincarnation. People are giving Spider Man a new chance because he's in a studio they trust. You know, it's true. Like, I guess that's very true. That's I mean, I true. don't I just, trust Fox. I do not fucking. The moment I see them touching another X Men or Fantastic Four thing, the first reaction I get when I read that article isn't "Oh boy," it's like "Fuck me," <laughs> and then I click it. Like it's yeah. It, you know, it's... honestly, I'd be the same way. Like, if it just came out of Comic Con that Fox is making the Doctor Doom, I'd be like, "Oh man, why?" And but yeah. I just there's something about Noah Hawley, man. Especially after like well, reading so some not... of what people think of him, like wow, like apparently he's a really like in the writers' room, like in the uh, like he's in the producers' room, like he just really is like talented mm-hmm. in terms of like but, ideas. But there's and... there's two things though. Like one, like as good as Legion is. Legion's not very comic book accurate, or not even accurate, but like just looking at it, it doesn't look like the comics sure. visually. Right. Sure. So you can scratch that one off. Two, comparing it to Spider Man, I yeah. think more people know Spider Man than Doctor Doom. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not really a good comparison because that's at least had better movies and people know well, it more. It's not even the case of the better movies, it's just that. No, and yeah, people know it's, it's more. Spider Man, yeah. like, you know, it's like saying Batman compared to Doctor Doom. Like, it's very yeah. wildly different things. I I, to- I totally get it. That's why I just kind of brought it up as like a devil's advocate thing. But uh, it's I don't know. I it probably won't make a lot of movie. You're exactly right. But it's 
I just, I don't know. I have faith in the director, but that's just me. If they I mean, mess with the director, like, I don't care who they bring on next. I don't care. Uh, again, it's it's not going to be bad. And that's probably the biggest defense I have in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why? You done the good I just, I just don't. I mean, how long has it been since they've had the rights? If they're not going to sell it um, back then, I feel like. Since the 80s. Yeah, the yeah 80s. I, they're not probably not going to sell it then. It's like, it's, it's one yeah, of those things. They just want to keep it. Like, it, even if they are losing money out of it, there's a pride to it, I would Kevin say. Kevin you just walk in there, shake I mean, your fucking dick in her face, and just be like, give me a deal. Come come on. Like, come on. Make this shit happen. I, f- I feel like if you did that, maybe there there could be something. I don't, I don't necessarily know if that's happened, because, like, maybe they want certain characters, but at the same time, they don't really need them. No, they don't, you know? but... They really uh, don't. They, they, they need certain characters. <laughs> No. I feel like they can go on for a long time with just the characters they well, have. Well, right they, they can, but you're eventually going to reach a point where, how, where do you go? You're going to need a Galactus and an Annihilus. And you can make stuff. new characters in the comics and then bring them Ooh. up in the movie. Uh, I want shit I know. <laughs> I, I'm just like stating an idea that I feel like could happen and has happened. Like I want you just shit I know so they can years. slightly change it so I can complain about it on Twitter, okay? <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> while while the casuals are just happy to see it. Yeah. yeah. 